Hey everybody, today is January 23rd and I'm working on a new project. I have in front of me a salad bowl that I grew for 21 days. These are three weeks old. They're a mix of all kinds of different greens in here. I think these are kale. I don't know what the rest are, but they're a different varieties of lettuce. What I'll do is I'm going to pick a nice one out of here and I'm going to transplant that into this system. Then I'll let you guys see how fast this thing will grow in hydroponic. So I just started digging into, this, into the soil and check this out. This is going to be a challenge to remove this successfully without damaging any roots. So we'll see how this will do. I was able to get two of them out. Probably damaged some roots, but uh, they should be okay. So here are the two. I was planning on just doing one, but I got two out, so I guess we'll just do two. I, I don't know what these are. Maybe when they grow, someone can help me identify them. And here's the other one. My container here, this is where I'll put them. So I'm going to have to squeeze them in somewhere. <laughs> I just cleaned this off, rinsed some water, got all the dirt off. But they're nice and clean now, so they're ready to be transplanted. Notice these are much smaller than these. That's because when plants grow are grown in small spaces like this, the big one will re remain big and the small one will just stay small because they're competing for nutrients. So the big one would just outgrow the little ones and usually the, the side ones would just fall over and die or just would never grow at all. And that's what happened to these guys. But now they're taken out and put them by themselves in the hydroponic. These guys are going to grow like crazy. So I'm ready to transplant. Here are my system. They're ready to go. I have my nutrients already pre-mixed. If you guys are interested in the nutrients, make sure you read the about section. I'll, I'll put the mixing in, uh, instructions in there. All right, so when you first transplant, this is what I recommend you do. Fill the nutrients all the way up to the bottom of the net cup there. You can do this without spilling anything. Do that first before you transplant. That way you can see what you're doing. And if you pour too much, you will know. Alright, that's about good right there. Then I'll do this one as well. I have done these before. But on this one, it's going to be a little different because I mixed the nutrients slightly different. So I'm, I'm, I'm constantly testing to see which works best. I'll provide all that information in the about section. And then I would use this. Uh, you don't have to use this. If you have little pebbles there, you can just put them in. But for seedlings, I like to use this because it's very easy. So what I will do is rip this in half. Don't tear it all the way. Then I will just drop this in like this. The roots within here. I make sure the leaves are above. And the root is slightly sticking out. That's why you want the water to touch this. That way you can and soak it up through here. The nutrients I'm using is Master Blend. I first got this nutrients information from Bobby's channel. He has a really good mixing instruction on this nutrient. So if you go there, make sure you check it out. It's, it's very, very helpful. All right, so they're ready to go. Here's where the plants is gonna be. I found a little spot for them. I moved the peppers around just to make some room for these new guys. They are sitting under T5s. They're made by EnviroGrow. I added those pebbles there to help the plant stand straight up and also prevent algae from growing because those rock wools, sometimes they get wet. Just check on the nutrients every once in a while, but really there's not much you need to do and just watch it grow. All right, today is one week after the initial transplant into these systems. The lettuce is doing really well. Uh, I haven't done much to it. It's just been sitting in the same spot and it's been growing quite a bit since I transplant these. Today is week number two and check out the lettuce. It's doing really, really well. Gotten pretty good size there. And there's the other one. So I've taken it out of this resting spot to show you a closer look. There's my original lettuce. And here are the two. The lettuce is still small, so they're not soaking up much water just yet. 
as they get larger, this reservoir is going to be drained very, very quickly. Very nice and healthy and white roots. That's pretty much it for this video. As you can see, growing these in hydroponic is very, very easy. And they grow very, very fast as well. I hope you guys liked the video. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to let me know.